Easy Money Flex Media Cap TV. Welcome to the rack house, never the trap house. House full of bands, no pots and pans. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna come through and bust y'all down with a little story time. One of my, one of my neighborhood famous stories that me and the guys. Oh my God, we just die laughing off this thing. And it was years ago, years ago. I ain't gonna say her name because she might watch my channel. But it was this girl around the neighborhood. Pretty girl, man. Pretty, slim, petite girl. Nice. You know, I was 19 at the time. She was 16 or 17 at the time. And I knew she liked me. When she come around, the, we in the neighborhood basketball court. You know, she looking. She, you know, she you doing that, you know, little teenage stuff. You know what I'm saying? Little flirtatious things, you know. So, after we finished balling, playing basketball and shit, we walked back to the, you know, our neighborhood. Well, you know, where we hang out at and, you know, the girls followed us, you know, we just ran in groups, you know, and shoo, she started really showing me signs that she liked me, so I ended up getting her phone number, you know, I had a cell phone at the time, I was a, you know, I, when I graduated at 16, I had, I was an electrician, I was in trade technical school, in high school, so as soon as I graduated, I started working full time with a company, Watson Electrical. You know, so I was doing good at that time, too. So I had a phone, you know, and when I call her, I'm calling the house phone, you know. So like I said, we exchange numbers. It's the house phone. I got to say, can I speak to such and such when I call her? Or she already, she already there. Y'all know how it go. So about a couple of days go by. I say I give it a week. I say about a week go by, you know, her parents going to work. You know, you know, parents go to work, leave the child at home. You know, you leave the teen at home during the summer, and she is, they we got the house from Lee Sam to goddamn three thirty or five thirty or nine to five. You know, so she invited me over. You know, so I tell the guys, man, oh man, y'all they goddamn want me to come through there. That old wild for real, yeah. I'm like, hell yeah, I have to go over that jank. And me, I. I knew I was going to get on, but then I didn't know I was going to get on. So I went unprepared as a motherfucker. I just went super unprepared, you know, way unprepared. I ain't got no protection. So, you know, I get there, we chilling, we talking and shit, you know, kicking the shits and all that. And then, you know, I got the feeling, got the feeling on her smacking, smacking that thing and, you know, one thing led to another, you know, so clothes started coming off and shit. And then, you know, once all the clothes got off, <laughs> nigga shit, I ain't got no condom. <laughs> so they're like, what? You ain't got no condom for real. Oh, come on. What you, so what you want to do? I'm like, man, I don't, you know, I ain't want to have no kid or nothing. I was like, you got a sandwich bag? She was like, yeah, I got sandwich bags. I was like, shit, goddamn, where they at? She said, downstairs in the cabinet, on the left, up top. You know, so I went down there, got that joint. <laughs> I went and got the sand, <laughs> not the one, not the Ziploc though, not the ones you gotta clip together, like a sandwich bag that you gotta put it in there, and then, you know, fold it up and wrap it around, you know what I'm saying? One of them joints, so when they got one of them joints, she like, what you gonna do with that? I'm like, well, you know, shit, you, know, you think I'm walking out here and ain't getting no, ain't getting no hams? Shit, what you mean when I'm doing all that? What you, you got a, you got a one of them rubber bands? What them black rubber bands you be putting on? Cause she used to wear the cornrows and stuff with them black rubber bands at the end. So I said, what one of them rubber bands? I so she gave me one of them James. Shit, nigga, that my that shit, nigga, smart nigga, smart nigga, you know what I mean? I slid that goddamn healthy glad bag on that thing, boy. Got that little tight rubber band on that thing. Wrapped that jane around my thing, got that thing. Oh, that thing was catching that hair. I was like, God damn. Oh, it was hurting trying to get that thing on, that rubber band. Catching some of that motherfucking hell, boy. Ooh, and that rubber band was tight, cutting off that circulation. Ooh. Ta-da! 
I got it, girl. I got it, and I'm going to be glad in it. Look what I got. I made me a homemade condom, girl, and I'm going to be glad in it. I'm going to be hefty in it. Ooh, I'm going to be hefty in it. So she bent that thing on over and, and, and hunched that thing on up, and I said, here it go. My invention, let's try it out. Oh, looking at that joint, making sure that joint ain't sliding off. Shit, I gotta hold that joint too. Ain't feeling nothing. I think I fucked for about two hours because I ain't feel nothing. That thing was so bad, no so bad on thick. Well, boy, I knew one thing. When I left out of there, ain't can't say that mine. You can't say that, my baby girl. I had a, I had the best protection you can have. You see how thick this bag is? That thing was sitting up in that thing like a, like a, uh, like a nigga that sold me a fucking fifty or some uh, syrup. Nigga, that in that bag. They had a goddamn drug test. I'm ready to goddamn give my sperm away the way I had that thing set up. I could have said, I should have saved that sperm. I should have put that thing, wrap that thing up, put a date on it, and put a bot, put that body, put a body on it, and say, hey, shit, nigga, who did it? Who did it like that? Who is? Hey, you got to be some kind of nigga. Let the girl, the girl, let you go up in that thing with that sandwich bag, nigga. Is that money flex? True story.